a start to this Big 12 season it's been. FS1 College Football is presented by Geico. And what a big Saturday this is to separate things near the top of the conference. Top 25 matchup to start October. Off we go in Norman. And Hodgson drills it out of the back of the end zone. On second down, it's Smallwood shut down by Eric Stryker. The two-time All-Big 12 outside linebacker pulls him down for a loss. This is one of the guys to focus on, number 19, Eric Stryker. He's an outside linebacker coming off the edge, and what makes him so special is his ability to run down plays from the backside. To try and pound West Virginia. Drive begins from the 17 with a Pirine run. He gets outside and gets blocks on the edge to turn the corner for nine. Terrell Chestnut pushed him out of bounds, and it's second and short. Side of the quarterback, and it's been struggling to get more downfield in the running game. Mayfield strong arm to the outside and has D.D. Westbrook. One of the nation's top Juco transfers with a gain of 19 and an Oklahoma first down. Faster on the field going after it. Mario Alford as well. They lost from last year. Here's Shell, and he's shut down by the Big 12's leading tackler, Dominique Alexander. He's been a starter all three seasons. At and allowing Dominique Alexander to make plays. Shell motions out. Howard has all kinds of time to throw, and it's broken up by Stephen Parker as he looked for Jordan Thompson. Parker's a nice player. 27 years. On first down, he looks to throw. Taking a deep shot. Makaya Quick with his first catch of the season. He's the guy that emerged last year, but has gone the first three games without a reception until now. For th first down from the 40. Fake the P Ryan. They pump short. And zip back shoulder for quick again. He's got it. First down inside the 20. And Oklahoma will hurry to the line, assuming that West Virginia they want to take a look at this as it stands 23 yards. And this is all Baker Mayfield anticipating the hole in the zone coverage. Chestnut just can't get there in time. Mixon motions out. Mayfield looks his way. Over the middle. There he is. It's Andrews for the Oklahoma touchdown from 17. Wales giving up their first first half points of the season. Andrews with his third touchdown in the last two weeks. And the Sooners out in front of number 23, West Virginia. It's Jordan Thomas. Only the second interception this season for the Oklahoma defense. And it comes from the sophomore from Klein, Texas. One of the hardest things to see as a quarterback is the backside coverage falling into this play. And Jordan Thomas is just going to read the Skylar Howard's eyes and fall right back into this interception. double clutch as you can tell he knew it was going to be a tight window he just never saw Jordan Thomas falling back into the throw to one from Cybert back in Jennings up inside the five broke the Cardinal rule there caught that ball that was probably headed into the end zone third down and six and from the 14 against pressure Howard in trouble and he's throwing it away but they'll mark him down. Stephen Parker out of the secondary came on the blitz and forced fourth down. We talked about Stephen Parker earlier. He does a lot of different things on this defense. He's going to chase down Skylar Howard from the backside. No one for West Virginia was able to get to him in protection. Could just, could just try, but... And so they'll have to punt out of their own end zone. Holy cow, that ball is drilled. Shepard back to the 32. Shepard with some room. Shepard with a cut. Sterling Shepard into West Virginia territory. Navigating his way to the 41 on a 26-yard return. Against the nation's number one defense in the month of September. Play action on first down. Looking over the top on the post pattern. Rolling in coverage. 
Westbrook's ball thrown for the catch. First down inside the 35 and a completion of 42. He does bring heat. Mayfield gets rid of it. Broken coverage. Touchdown, Sterling Shepard. West Virginia gambled, and Oklahoma made him pay to retake the lead from 28. Finds the end zone for the third time this season. Heroic performance from him a couple of weeks ago in Knoxville. That overtime win against Tennessee, and he's got a touchdown in this one. This top 25 showdown in North. Their last drive was off of Oklahoma penalties. Wendell Smallwood gets chopped down by Stephen Parker. Parker identifying quickly who had the ball and making the tackle. Here comes Stryker. He gets the sack with a flag down that will likely be holding. On the left tackle, Yadni Kajust. Or Kajust. On third down and 12. They only rush three. Eight in coverage. Mayfield splits the tackler. On the roll. Scramble drill is on. Boy, he fired a dart. Did he get his feet down? He did. He sits patient in the pocket. No one's open, no one's open, feels the pressure. Somehow slips out of his tackles. He's done this all year. Mayfield going to his left, so tough, but gets his shoulders around and delivers an accurate football. And that appears as if his foot's in bounds. That's a catch in the NFL. The nation's number one kicking prospect coming out this year, Austin Seibert. And he remains perfect. He's on a state UCLA game. Fox. Shelton Gibson. Flag down. West Virginia is going to start this drive at its own five-yard line. With a holding going to be called on number 19, K.J. Myers. Drive that started inside their own 20. Shell. Not much there. Little converting five downfield throw. Devontae Bond, who on the two deep is behind Eric Stryker, but he's one of the best players on this. Much bigger effect on the game than his stats show. Second and 12. Oh my goodness. Nothing doing. Jordan Wade was there with Charles Tapper. They bring only three. Into a tight window he goes for Duran Neal and an Oklahoma first down into West Virginia territory on a gain of 16. This game, Oklahoma got the better hand on that one. They get it outside trying to take advantage of numbers and D.D. Westbrook certainly does that. First down to the 35. D.D. Westbrook coming from Blinn Community College. 80% run team. Granted, he had some I.J. P. Ryan and Keith Ford, so it wasn't a bad thing. Here's Joe Mixon, and there he goes for his first career rushing touchdown. 35-yarder. Number one running back coming out of high school in the country. And this is a little glimpse of why. He's got the ability to make one jump cut and the speed to hit through the line and take it to the house. Howard throwing deep as a man, Gibson, broken up by Jordan Thomas. Gibson had a step on Thomas to recover, and it's four two touchdowns for Mayfield. He hands it off. They'll see what they get. They're going to like what they get. Got nine. What a huge hit from Joseph on Piron to the weak side of the formation. Howard to throw. Extends the play. And goes out of bounds. He lost a yard, it appears. It's Smallwood. Can't get away from Stryker. Second and goal. They typically don't like that when you're a quarterback. Second and goal. Snap floats back there. Under pressure and sacked 
Speaking of Sanchez, redemption with a little help from Alexander. And this is essentially a coverage sack. Mathis is going to come across the formation and run into the flat. Nobody, how is going to be looking for him? No one's able to get open, and Zach Sanchez. Here comes pressure, and they get home with it. Eric Stryker having a great day. He's got 10 tackles. This is a good play for that blitz. On third down, Howard under pressure and sacked by Matt Diamond, and the ball came out. Oklahoma's got it. It was picked up by D.J. Ward. And what a turn of events to wake up this crowd. One open downfield. Skylar Howard trying to buy more time, moving in the pocket. But nowhere to go. Matt Diamond bringing down Howard, getting the football out. Yep. Just the momentum that this Oklahoma team needed to get the stadium back into the game. in his young career. So they take advantage of the takeaway. Second down and eight on the ground again. And Dominique Alexander stuck his nose in to bring Smallwood down. Play action. Quick is open. He finds him for a first down to get breathing room against Rayvon Askew Henry. Quarterback, but... Hung in there and delivered an accurate ball to the middle. Piran with room. Samaze Piran, the laundry cart for 12. <laughs> Bayfield pump short, has a man running free. Deron Neal. Goodbye. Touchdown, Oklahoma from 71. A fake quick screen to Westbrook, and Neal just runs up the sidelines. No one on him. Baker Mayfield puts the ball perfectly out there to hit Neal in stride. Sometimes that's the hardest one to hit when the guy's wide open. Smallwood motions out. Howard under siege. Howard gets... Number 57, Adam Peggy he gets beat. The quarterback with his knee off the ground is under review. Down. Yeah. Coming into this situation, third and 13. After review, the quarterback's right knee was on the ground before he released the pass. It's third down and 14 at the 33 yard line. Chase, more often. Interception setting West Virginia up. They throw it outside, and the screen was read well and jumped by Zach Sanchez. So Durant with no gain, second and 10. Sanchez recognized it right away. Inside of 10 minutes now, not much room for air for West Virginia. Howard wants one on one, but gets hit from behind. Stryker jarted loose. Evans picked it up. Howard can't run him down. All the way down to the goal line. And in for the Oklahoma touchdown. We just talked about the explosiveness of Eric Stryker. He's going to come off the edge. And as he's done all day, create havoc in the backfield. Wellman tries to get to him. A design play action fake. The striker just too good in pass rushing. Howard's going to try to make a play at the end, but Jordan Evans too fast. Huge play. Howard under pressure gets rid of the too small wood. And Evans stripping of that ball makes an open field tackle for a loss of five. Shell motions out. Howard steps up in the pocket and throws one right into the hands of Jordan Thomas. Back near the 20. 48-yard return and turnovers spelling doom for West Virginia. Skyler Howard's going to try to buy time and step up in the pocket. He looks outside, and Gibson slips a bit, and that's all Jordan Thomas needs to break in front of the deep comeback route. 44-yarder for Cyber, the freshman. This would be a career long. Chase gets perfect still. Some room to go there as well. 
From the 42, West Virginia not quitting yet. Howard gets rid of it down the sideline. One-on-one. Durant goes up and can't get it against Sanchez. Great effort, but incomplete. Second down and 10. Zach Sanchez, the cornerback who made Tennessee to intercept Josh Dobbs now making big plays today. Howard over the middle, tipped and picked off, off of the hands of Shorts, and intercepted by Ahmad Thomas, who takes it back to the 30. And they're going to try to play a zone coverage and just read the quarterback's eyes. Howard's trying to find a window in that defense, but he's got to get the ball down. Otherwise, we'll see the end result. A tip pick from Shorts. From West Virginia, home a pull away in this one. He ran again, dashing his way for a first down to the 16. And Paul Davis up here in the booth. Don Esposito leads our technical team. Steve Dressman and Jimmy Lucas in our video department. That does it for Oklahoma beating West Virginia 44-24. They moved to 4-0 on the season. What they hope is a bounce back year here in Norman. Under the direction of that guy through that crowd, Baker Mayfield. It's another Sooner win. More great college football coming up in just a bit. Another undefeated matchup in the Big 12. Kansas State, Oklahoma State. After this break in Los Angeles, Rob Stone will have you ready for Game 2 of our FS1 doubleheader.